Right, welcome back. Data Analytics Ireland. Um, it's good to have you here with us again. I want to continue on some work we've been doing with Excel, looking at different some different options around working with data in Excel, manipulating and creating charts, etc. So today on this video, what we're looking to do is basically validate cell values in particular cells against the predetermined a set of rules in the logic. So to kind of show you, first of all, this is actually the output. What we're trying to do is run the logic and say, look at look at all a particular set of cells or cells. In this instance, we're going to be looking at Ireland um, and Scotland petrol values. But essentially, you could put the same logic across all these cells. And what we're trying to do is say, if this is a, a company set of accounts, then you would budget it for X amount is that value in here greater than smaller than that x amount if it's greater we then highlight it and the value or, or the color we're giving it is red so essentially if you have large spreadsheets and you're trying to figure out or go through how to basically see which is within or without, not within budget and then highlight it by loading the data and running a program this will quickly do it for you so let's first of all look at the underlying data. So this is actually the underlying data. And this is the data we're going to load in. So, you know, there's typical uh, accounting uh, categories here, sales, cost sales, gross profits, so on and so forth. Um, so that's pretty much the data set. Um, I've kept it quite small. This could obviously be a lot bigger. It could be spread out over multiple sheets. That's not for today. But today is just to basically check if I was sitting here and I wanted to quickly run a program and say I have a set of data in Excel that's come from some accounting package. Are we within or with an outside budget uh, or where are we on track? That's what this program is going to do. OK, so let's flick back to the code. This is the input at the moment. So as, as I count the steps here is load Excel, run the functions find the cells that don't meet the criteria and then basically highlight those cells that are outside budget. So the first thing to do is we're going to actually run the file okay, and open it. Okay, So that's pretty much this file here. I'll actually close, no I'll close this in a second. So that's that file there. And then we're basically saying if you find anything um, that has NA or is empty, just instead of having NA, just apply value zero. So that's basically your typical uh, NumPy uh, piece of code, their uh, function to search for NANs or NAs or empty values and just replace them with zero. Now, next bit I'm going to show you is before we go on to the code, is when you're bringing files in, um, it can be a bit tricky with the data types and it's more to do with the how they all look. So. At the moment, it all looks nice and perfect and rosy and everything can view it and perfect, Bob's your uncle. But if I was to just quickly comment these out, okay, we run this code. So now you've got a problem. You've got scientific notation in here. So in this cell in Ireland, England, you've got it all in the different cells across different values and different categories. This is a problem. So if you loaded this in and you were showing this to somebody in your accounting department or a colleague or your manager, they'll be going to say, well, what's this? this? The figures don't make sense. So to get around that, um, usually that's associated with floats. So to get around that, we've converted just all those columns after they've been loaded into what they call in 64 And that gives you the, the format you see Okay, so that's just a quick intro on why I'm doing that. And I wanted to show you the errors. In actual fact, when you see the scientific notation there, it's actually the figures are probably fine. It's just that they're in scientific notation. It's meaningless to most people. Um, but in order to get it in a format that it can be read by you or anybody you're giving the data to, this is an easy and quick way to fix it. Okay, so essentially you're just taking each column 
and then you're converting it to type to in64 would say to you one thing is I haven't done it on category and the reason I've done it on category because obviously it's not a number so I've left that out it's not here but that's statedly obvious but just to say that right so we've covered off functions in previous uh, videos again we're going to use functions here i'm probably going to use them a lot more going forward in different uh, video tutorials but it's something if you're new to programming either in python or any program language it's they're used quite widely something just to get used to so there's two functions here okay the first one is to control checks and the second one is check within budget all right so we'll go to the first function so the control checks is essentially i'll just show go to these three and then i'll explain this logic so what we're doing here is we are checking for petrol for ireland okay so petrol for ireland is a row of four index four which is here okay so remember these are the index values here so row four in row the row of index value four and then it is index value one column okay so there you go okay so the same again for we do the same exactly the same again for scotland okay four and four so again it's on the same rows are uh same sorry same petrol row uh, row index of four but it's column index of four so again it's going to be zero one two three four okay so those two variables have been created in the middle of them is our budget figure so our budget figure is the figure that we're saying if we're equal to it or underneath it we're within budget set out by the company on their budgeting plans if we're not then we're outside the budget it means we've overspent more than actually we had anticipated so that's what that figures for it's a variable we can change that and i'll change that in a second to show uh, to show you how this all comes together so at the moment it's set to seven thousand for pe for, for this petrol um you could put in another budget values here when you expand this code you change that to budgets you could budgets uh printing you could budget advertising so on and so forth and then expand this logic and it will give you the same effect you're getting here so that's that so essentially uh next few lines is we're basically saying on this line if the petrol va the value for ireland for petrol is greater than the budget and the value for Scotland's petrol is greater than the budget value, which is this. Return a value of one. Same here um, on this line, uh, but it's just for Ireland. Same on this line, it's just for Scotland. And then basically we're saying on the last line, well, uh, if it's petrol value for Scotland or and Ireland is less than the budget, well then return a value of four. Okay, so values being returned is one, two, three, four, and they're basically being returned here in this value okay so that's that so moving on we basically um, now have a, a function called check within budget right and this is what it's basically doing is right if it's basically taking the values from here so one two three or four bringing it in and basically saying depending on the value it's applying a color here uh, here or here uh, on this particular line and the reason I'm saying on this particular line because we've only for this particular scenario done this line but we could do it over any of these lines we could expand this code as I said before so essentially this one this will this actually checked what we're doing actually before we go to further is we're making a copy and then what we're doing is we're saying checked is basically the value that's which it's equal to what the control checks function here returns which is this value so whatever that value here is put into x and then x is actually checked okay and then we're basically saying um whatever that whatever that value is um return it so val goes to here okay so now we have a, a, a value in here and we're basically saying whatever the checked which is returned is returned by the control checks value which comes from x um which comes from val in the control checks it's basically what we're going to be checking so if it's a value of one then we're basically saying if it's a value of one then we're basically saying it's it's passed it's gone through this uh particular bit of logic if statement and it's basically it's returned through 
and has returned a value of one. So in that scenario, your petrol for Ireland be greater than the budget and the petrol for Scotland value be better, greater than the budget. So that would return one. So then what it's doing is it's using this iLock uh, function, a piece of code, and it's basically saying go to line or index row value four, uh, column one, and apply the color red. And then because it's it's the same for Scotland, it applies the value red or applies the, makes the column red. So in this scenario, let's just check this, right? It's gone through all the different scenarios, so it must have returned one. Sorry, it has gone through all the scenarios, it hasn't returned one, my apologies. This scenario, the budget is seven. Our, Ireland's petrol value basically cost is 5,000. So in that scenario, when it's gone through the logic up here, it wouldn't have returned one. In this scenario, it's gone through it. It's basically said, oh, it's looking to see if the Irish petrol is greater than the budget. Again, it's 5,000, it's not bigger than seven, so it wouldn't return that. Again, if the Scotland petrol is greater than the budget, which it is, 15,000 is greater than 7,000, is a turn of value of three. So when it went through the logic, three would have been returned from here to here, through here, and on to here and essentially then it's basically said uh it's value three here put the scottish um cell to fifteen thousand, and what that's doing is basically highlighting that you're over budget so if anybody was looking at reports or doing anything they'd be able to validate and see that this is over budget we need to review it more and take appropriate steps okay so that's basically how the logic works and comes together so at the moment, let's give you a scenario. We're saying that Ireland is five thousand, so it's under budget. So it's not going to, it's not going to change the red. So why don't we change this value to say nine thousand? Okay. Yeah. Save it, and I'm just going to close it. Okay. So. What you're seeing at the moment is in this scenario, it's returned to value three because only Scotland has uh, basically been over budget. But now what I'm expecting is to return a value of one because Ireland and Scotland are over budget. And in that scenario, because it turns a value of one, it makes this cell here red and also this cell here red. So this cell is going to remain at 15,000 and red and this cell is going to change to, I think it's the value of 9,000 and to red. So let me just quickly run this. So there you go. So we inputted the 9,000 into the cell in Excel. Now it's reread the file and it said, hold on, it's now a value of 9,000, which is greater than the 7,000. It's over budget, apply, give it a red. And because we haven't done anything to the Scotland value, but it's still over budget, it's staying at red. So that's a quick uh, overview of how, how to validate cells in Excel and then how to highlight them. I um, hope you've gotten some good uh, tips out of that and some good introduction and cell validation and highlighting cells and how to go about it. As always, if you like this video, can you please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, also go on to our uh, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube channels follow there as well um, our links are all on our homepage of our website dataanalyticsireland.ie thanks again for coming along we should be having um, more videos soon we we'll try to follow on from each one so keep an eye out if you subscribe you'll get the alerts thank you take care bye